So we're unboxing a mineral specimen today. Yeah, the one we got in Tucson. Tucson? All right, I'm ready. So I'm Jordan. And I'm Hunter. And when I'm in Tucson, I take on a Tucson persona that I call Desert Jordan. And she wears fun glasses and a hat. Where's the box? I don't know. I had it. You took it. I guess I'll go get it. <laughs> oh, there it is. The Tucson Gem Show is the largest gem, mineral, and fossil event in the United States. Home to approximately 40 to 60 shows over the course of multiple weeks in the city of Tucson, Arizona, every January and February. While many of these events are for the jewelry trade only, some are open to the public, giving the average jewelry shopper or gem collector a small peek into the wonderful world of wholesale jewelry. Hunter and I are among the many jewelry professionals who make the yearly trek to Tucson for networking, exhibiting, and professional buying. This year, we spent about 10 days doing business in Tucson, but not without a little bit of fun shopping for ourselves. In this box is the latest addition to our personal collection. We've been looking for a few years for a mineral specimen to place in our fireplace. We actually inserted a shelf over the electric fireplace and painted it with the blackest black paint in the world. Our plan is to illuminate the specimen from above and give the gem an illusion of floating inside of the fireplace underneath our amethyst-inspired resin painting created by renowned artist Sandlin Rhodes. Before we get started, if you're a human, please smash the like button, regardless of your thoughts on gemstones and crystals. <laughs> I guess you could also be a golem or some type of rock monster. If you're a rock monster, like our video. Leave me a comment about whether or not you think crystals have magical powers, because I know you're going to anyways. And subscribe, because we're just so darn cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing and see if this survived the trip back. I'm a little nervous. I began opening the box. I believe here we have the latest news from Uruguay. I don't know what this, oh, it's the stand. The extremely well packaged specimen here. I watched them package this, they use a lot of bubble wrap and paper. I think even if this was shipped, it might have a good chance, but of course we brought it back ourselves. And that's quite a bit of the, hey, a coupon. This is actually amethyst. The purple variety of quartz. The amethyst is in agate and this specimen comes from Uruguay. Both amethyst and agate types of quartz can be seen in jewelry, but this is an example of how they look when mined before being sent to the cutter. Fine amethyst has been set in jewelry for thousands of years and was once considered equal in value to ruby, emerald, and sapphire until about the 19th century when large deposits in Brazil were found. This is actually pretty small for an amethyst geode. Some of them are even bigger than me. And me. I should probably mention amethyst is the birthstone for February. But just because something isn't your birthstone doesn't mean you shouldn't love it. As it turns out, people's personal tastes in jewelry have absolutely nothing to do with the month they were born in. I'm gonna get my hat back. I wasn't wearing my glasses. <laughs> We just have continuity errors all over this video. This is why we're on YouTube and not television. Well, that's why television has production. It's just us here. This is my bedroom. Amethyst in jewelry is actually really inexpensive. So you should absolutely ask your local independent jeweler about buying some. Agate, which you can see here, is this beautiful banded material. It's a variety of chalcedony, which is a quartz. Agate can come in a wide variety of colors and is also really inexpensive in jewelry, so go see your local jeweler. Let's put some strip lights in our fireplace and see how this baby looks. Oh my gosh, this looks fantastic. It fits perfectly and goes really great underneath the Sandlin Rhodes painting. 
I am super happy with my purchase. In case you are traveling to the Tucson Gem Show and want an amethyst specimen to go in your fireplace, you should know I bought this at a public show called the Pueblo Gem and Mineral Show. So hopefully I'll see you next year starting your very own mineral collection. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Man, I love this. Oh. I don't think it smells like anything. It does. Does it? I don't know what, but it does smell like something. <laughs> smell like Tucson? It, sm <laughs> it smells like a cardboard box and newspaper. Uruguayan newspaper. Uruguayan mines.